Welcome back. Today I'm talking a little bit about Steve Parrish. He gave an interview for the Crystal Palace website and I'm going to be talking a little bit about what he said in that regarding the main stand development and also about January transfer time. So uh, let's have a look at some of the things that he talked about. He said about the main stand, he said, we are doing a lot of work in the background on planning the stadium, planning out the internal areas. The work, we, the work we're doing is really into planning out the detail, where the dressing rooms are, where the tunnel club, where's the general admission what does the boardroom look like for example i think we'll have much more open environment where um where there are more access to fans he also went on to say there's an enormous amount of detail going into the work to try and get the construction quote and raising the money at the same time it is a very exciting period for the club a lot of pressure a lot of things to do in a relatively short space of time the final points of the sainsbury's deal are being battened down and it's all going on we are hell for leather as much as we can so he's obviously been still negotiating with Sainsbury's I think that deal is now being put to bed so thank god for that but uh, also there's a situation where obviously they have to do, do the construction and they have to talk about how much that's going to cost and things like that I thought there was some money put aside already but maybe there wasn't quite enough maybe they've got to raise some additional funds so we'll have to wait and see what happens in, in regards to that but anyway we'll carry on the January window is hard there are one or two things we'd like to do probably more loans than buys we would really like to look at the summer to do anything major we have a we have a good squad i think the players are very good and i think we have a good points tally in january it's quite nice to freshen things up a bit if we can look at some places if we feel we can improve with the manager so we're looking at situations there i could i wouldn't completely write off anybody but post the world cup is quite a dangerous market it doesn't say no that doesn't say no we have a few areas we'd like to improve on if we can we will do it so it looks as though it's probably going to be more loans perhaps a bit more of a KG situation in regards to the January transfer window we'll have to wait and see if it is loans perhaps that could be um Wan Bissaka perhaps well, it could be that it's quite a quiet January so uh, be prepared for that be prepared for Crystal Palace to be linked with every player but perhaps maybe only getting one perhaps maybe two we'll have to wait and see maybe not even that it depends I guess on what the uh, the cost the cost is going to be what the price is going to be and uh, whether we've got the uh, cash in the bank to do it so well, those are the main points of the interview he does go on to talk about the academy and uh, he always talks about um, the academy founder members and he's uh, very proud and very pleased with what they've achieved so as I said if you want to see the whole thing I'll, I'll leave a link to it in the description below take a look at it and have a read through and I'd love to hear your comments on this about the main stand and about the January transfer window and of course subscribe if you haven't already I'll see you next time